Hi, everyone. Excited to show you what our product at Private AI can do for identifying, redacting, and replacing personally identifiable information and protected health information across 47 different languages. To give you an example of how what it does, I've chosen Dan Levy, the lovable Canadian actor, writer, and producer, and, and a Wikipedia page with a couple paragraphs about his background. And what you can see here is that it'll identify the name, the date of birth, origin, occupations, cities, and so on within this paragraph. And what our synthetic PII can do is create synthetic personal data that will replace the original data, but still making it fairly contextually relevant. And why that's really interesting is if you're training either a sentiment analysis model, topic model, chatbot, or other machine learning algorithm, you want to feed it very natural looking data so it doesn't get affected by information that doesn't look like production data. And in addition to that, this can be used to identify the personal information to gauge risk, for instance, to gauge how much data may have been affected within a data leak, uh, to gauge what kind of information you might have to worry about when it comes to personal information and data protection regulations. And here is, for example, the list of all of the personal identifiable information that was found within this paragraph. You've got the associated text, you've got the confidence score associated with that MTD type. And what you can do here is, that's also really cool, is give it really messy data. So we work with a lot of extremely messy data across multiple verticals, including insurance and contact centers for banks and uh, automatic speech recognition and chatbots and insured tech and so on. And what you might see in those scenarios is people having conversations about accidentally their mother's surgery on Friday, and suddenly you're giving healthcare information to a provider who does not want your healthcare information. So you might say, yeah, just recovered from kidney stone surgery. And then purchased this product to make it make myself feel better. Use credit card number. And it will recognize this as a credit card, despite it not necessarily being a 16 digit number. And it will recognize that as it'll recognize corrections as well as parts of credit card, right? Uh, this is really useful because you don't you might drop your credit card and then keep reading it, or somebody might not understand the name on the credit card is E T R. You can also give it spell out a name, which can be pretty complicated for a lot of systems to pick up as an actual name. So here that has been spelled out. Petri. That is P as in Paloma. And it'll still pick that up as a name. E as in Erie. Because that is giving information about your name. So I'm very excited about this system. Would love for you to give it a shot in any language that we support that you might speak. Here's an example, once again, of Dan Levy, but say we want to do Korean. If I take this sentence over here in Korean, it will still recognize the person and FIBO information in Korean, right? So here's his name, his date of birth, location, country, occupations, and so on, and that gets picked up in the list of entities as well that you can see here. So give it a shot. There's all of these languages that are supported, and we'd love to hear from you. You can try this out at demo.private-ai.com. Thanks so much.